Last episode, we won three straight games for the first time to pick up form here at the end of the season, and now we look to end our first season in charge on a high note, this time out. Hey, what's going on guys? Respect the Jeff here with the final episode of Season 1 here with Paris FC. Like I said last time out, promotion is out of the question, so with three games left, it's all about building for next season, and we are going to get some great insights into that. Honestly, like we have to say in the press conference here, we're disappointed. Promotion was the goal, but we have next season to build for that. We have the full backing of our billionaire owners behind us, and I think we are able to make a serious push going forwards. But in the meantime, we need to grind out some results, show what we've got in the interim, and with three wins from three last time out, I think things are starting to look good. Finally, it took enough time, but uh, the team is really starting to build a little bit of chemistry here. Especially the back line, who looked absolutely horrendous for a little while there. But with players like Axel Bamba and Soleil really coming into their own, I think it is only going to help us for the future considering they're so young. And here goes the team here, basically from the kickoff. Ilias Husni puts it in the back of the net again. I'm running out of words to describe this kid. He has been absolutely unreal, our number 19. Scored so many goals, and I can't wait to see what kind of amazing player he develops into in the future. Only 17 years old, absolutely bossing the league. And that's all despite a pretty low rating. I think he's 61 or something comparatively to the rest of the squad. Not that good at all. Uh, and I'm so excited to have a new face for him and some of the other players going into Season 2. So they finally don't have to look uh, like generic players <laughs> anymore. Uh, but the uh, performances are all that count now, and we got to make sure we just keep a hold of ours. Obviously, leaking goals is what we've suffered from the most after going up in games this season. Fortunately, again, the defense looks up to the task here. Mustafa Nam slips through Lopez, who's on the wing, looking to cut it back. We got numbers forward. Gaetan Laura, Ilias Husni looking to link it up. Lovely play, moving the ball around. Lopez gives it away, still comes in, puts it in. Laura into the back of the net. How about that for a powerful header past the goalkeeper? Lopez gets the assist. A little sloppy probably to give the ball away in the first place, but he stayed on it. He put a nice ball in, and once again, it's Laura there to finish. Between he and Husni, we have two superstars in the making up front, it feels like. They're the two players who have carried us through the toughest parts of this season so far and continue to lead the team from the front, both of them getting on the score sheet already, obviously. And as we go into the second half here, we look to separate these sides even more. It's getting a little close back there in the back line. Really good moves from the opposition. But fortunately, we remain strong again, and we see away some chances. Not only that, but we're able to spring on a counterattack here. Mustafa Nam coming forwards. Husni looking to play a ball through. Just cut out. That would have been a brilliant chance on goal. But we're not giving up here. We continue getting numbers forward. Manduki plays through Garby. Eventually gives it away here. It's just looked like a different team recently. The high press has been working absolutely brilliantly for us. And here we have it again, getting forwards. <laughs> a little soft, probably, but we'll take it. It's a penalty kick. Ismail Garby getting himself into a dangerous position. And, oh, Laura saved from the goalkeeper. Denied on the spot to make it three. That would have been a great way to cap this display off. But all three subs coming on now. It's some youngsters, Diakite, Hajim, uh, and then the not-so-young Augustin, who is given another chance to uh, play up top and get some minutes. With Laura playing so well, it's going to take something exceptional for our other striker to get a chance. And Laura puts it wide of the net. Uh, despite being pushed out on the wing with Augustin coming in, he still remains <laughs> probably our biggest threat up top. He's just that good. We continue the high press. This team absolutely unable to deal with it. And we continue the pressure here. Laura settles it down for Hodgson, who chips it through. Augustin, that's his chance. And it's saved from the goalkeeper. Point blank. And he just couldn't finish. Husni, though, twisting and turning. Play continues. He's clean through. Lovely stuff. Can he cut it back? Yes. Does so well to find the feet of Laura. And then Diakite saved. Play is not over yet, though. Augustin looks to sneak it through, and that time it is flat out given away. But again, recovered. Here we go. Husni trying to cut inside and eventually poked away. Well, that's three or four clear cut chances, just unable to get pulled off. And Augustin giving the ball away again, just here at the end of the game. Whistle blows, though, and it's another win. That is four off the bounce. This one, finally, by a margin of more than one. <laughs> so. Uh, signs of better things to come. I think we're slowly improving bit by bit, 
And although I do want to see more from some of these players, notably Augustin, uh, the rest of the team is performing really well, and I love to see the way they've been playing so far. All right, well, as we move on here, we have some players still in the Youth Academy who have been growing over this season. Kitenje, the left back, and Belosian, the wonder kid attacking midfielder who's been likened to players like Zidane and Pogba uh, based off of some of the things I could find online about him, at least. So uh, you guys can help me do some research in the Discord if you want. Uh, so we're going to look at giving some of those players minutes as time goes on. But in the meantime, we look to continue our fantastic results in the league. With that said, let's get to it. All right, here we go. Can we make it five? Uh, it's actually one of our objectives for the season <laughs> under the uh, uh, career objectives uh, to win five in a row. So if we did that, uh, we would knock off some of the pressure at least. Our manager rating is shockingly low. And uh, honestly, we're probably not that far off of getting sacked if we have another poor run of results. So it would give us a little bit of breathing room probably <laughs> if we could win this fifth one. But with only two games left this season, I don't think it's all that important. But obviously, we're out here to win all of our games. Uh, so that is the main objective out here. Ismail Garbi cutting inside, looking to put a ball in. It's not a bad one at all. Goalkeeper bumped by Guy Laura there, and it is a foul given away. But it's a really hot start again from the team. So much dynamic energy going forwards, and Garbi is among them. Given the start this time, he's been in and out of the side, Ismail Garbi, but uh, definitely shown glimpses of what he's got here in Manduki. Another player starting in the center of the pitch, this time over the young Diakite. Another player who's kind of been on the fringes and looking to show a little bit more this season and show why he deserves more starts. Uh, but at least both are really solid players to have as options coming off the bench. I don't think either one of them is going anywhere next season. They're both really solid for this division. Uh, and I think we can see better from both of them too, uh, given a little bit longer in this team. Unfortunately, we are the first team to concede here uh, some good passing around the back line and we definitely see some of that defensive susceptibility that we haven't in recent games sleeping back into the team. Really poor marking all over the center backs doubling up in the middle and eventually the man left wide open. I don't know where all of our marking was, but uh, we have to move on from here. Guy Tanlora now looking to take his man on, bundled off of it, but play continues. Ismail Garby flicked over his man, brought down. No way! That's got to be a clear-cut penalty, no call given! And the opposition plays out from the back there just as the halftime whistle blows. That is an absolutely egregious no call. Ismail Garbi didn't even get close to the ball the defender. He just bowled him over. I don't know how that wasn't given, but play continues there, and our chance was denied. Uh, with 35 minutes left to play, we look to get ourselves back in a better position. It's another goal. Thankfully, that time it's offsides, so <laughs> maybe getting away with one there, uh, we'll take it. But you can feel the morale just a little low after that no call given with the penalty at the end of the first half. Doesn't matter, though, for the team who really is trying their best here. Gaetan Laura almost slipped through really solid ball from the young attacker uh, to play him in. Augustin, though, coming on. We need bodies in the box, and we know Augustin can finish despite his other uh, <laughs> lack of attributes elsewhere, but we just can't get a good ball into the box. With that said, the whistle blows. That is a disappointing one for the team. Our first loss in five games, and that is a shame. We started to look like we were turning things around. I, I think for all intents and purposes, we still are, but it's a loss nonetheless. All right, well, this is it, guys. One game remaining in the season, and we got to get out there and just end things on a high note, carry some good form into next season. And you know, with an eye on building the team towards next season, I'm going to give two of our youngsters who haven't featured yet uh, at least a spot on the bench. The first is Maisen Banama, a central midfielder who in real life is extremely highly rated with high potential, uh, and Andre Chiesa, our probably best prospect out of the real-life Paris FC Academy. So both will get the chance for minutes. Let's get to it. All right, here we go, final game of the season, and we are looking to finish things off with a good team performance. It's been really, really up and down since we took charge. Obviously, I like to keep things realistic. It's the reason I don't cap off every single uh, <laughs> career we play by like winning the Champions League and things like a lot of other YouTubers do, but this one's been particularly challenging, especially considering the kind of expectations we've placed here on really pushing this team for promotion in season one, and it hasn't quite come off. 
but we're starting to see the best. Elias Husne scoring another goal. He's been a really bright spot through some dark times this season and has just continued to churn out amazing performances. He's probably the best player in the squad this season and also the youngest, which honestly says so much about him. I genuinely, sky is the limit. This guy could go on to be one of the world's next best talents. Uh, I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves and put too much expectation on him, but man, he just makes a complete difference when coming on and he's outshining players uh, 10, 15 years older than him who are out there on the pitch. Uh, and I'm really excited to see what the future holds and how he continues to develop over time. We do concede a goal. Thankfully, it's offside, so we keep a hold of the clean sheet so far. But a reckless challenge there from uh, Conte, our defender who has been pretty much out of the side for a lot of this season. Axel Bamba and Soleil definitely are two preferred starting center backs. We're going to see if Conte will accept a reduced role in the team, if he'll be able to play rotation. I'm happy to have him around for the future, but as of now, he's just uh, looking for more minutes than I think he probably deserves over those other players. And we do concede a second here, desperate to get ourselves back in front of this one and find another goal. Like I said, it would be so nice to end this season off with another win. And we're looking forward here. Diakite charging into the box, gets a touch, no call given. And a couple suspicious penalty calls here from the referees, but uh, we'll have to just make it happen from open play here. Hajam playing a ball in the young left back who starts over Hannon for this one. Gaitan Laura slipped through and he always is going to finish from that kind of position. With 20 minutes remaining in the game, we take the lead again and hopefully are on our way to a victory to cap off a pretty mixed season for this team. But again, at the heart of everything we do, it's Husni and Laura scoring goals. The two of them, the dynamic duo up top, just never fail to deliver. Uh, despite all the struggles we have, uh, they just continue to score and assist, usually with each other too, so we love to see that. So, I mean, with the one goal lead, there's not a whole lot of pressure on us this season. Both youngsters are going to come on, Kiesa and Benama. Let's see what the two of them have to offer. Just get a little run out into the team and at least make their debuts going into next season. I've got real in-game faces coming for them, as well as the entire starting 11 for season two. So, uh, limited time left with these, <laughs> these poor auto-generated faces in-game. So, just bear with me a little bit longer, but next episode you see will be a lot more immersive. NJ Kiesa does a fantastic job there tracking back his first contribution is a tackle from behind uh, sliding one at that to uh, prevent a really good chance at our end here and with only seconds remaining in the match all we got to do is see this one out ball played back some good pressure from midfield you get the sinking feeling one more chance might just come it's great play from the opposition and well, they run it all the way back to the corner flag poor ball in just gotta get it out clear it please clear it finally whistle blows a lot nervier than we would have liked there at the end, but thankfully it is a win. It's three more points here on the final day of the season. A debut for two youngsters, a good run out on the side for some of the other young players like Hajam at left back, and this team finally looks to be on our way to some consistent good results. So, solid way to end the season, and on we go. All right, well, all said and done, we're up to seventh. Uh, obviously, nowhere near exactly where we would like to be, but we finished just outside those top five spots, which isn't too bad, all things considered. Now, looking ahead to next year, like the event says, everything is on the line. The board publicly backs us. They fully back us, too. We're going to get the signings we want. We're going to give a full, or get, rather, a full chance at next season. But promotion to League Un is a must. Nothing else is acceptable. So pressure is on. Now, the story of this career is about more than just us. It's about the battle for Paris. And the team on top at the moment is PSG. They did win the league narrowly which does hurt to see, but uh, fortunately they fell out of the Champions League, uh, knocked out by my my team Chelsea in the quarterfinals, so we do love to see that, um, but it, we're just a long way from them right now. We have to build for the future. Fortunately, we've got the backing. I think we will get there, but it has to happen sooner rather than later. We got some interesting players we're looking at going into next season, probably a matter more of who we can persuade to join us in League 2, but with the kind of financial pull and the project that we're building here and some of the name recognition of the talent we're building should help attract some talent uh, in the future. So we'll see as we get towards League 1, things should get a little bit easier. But it brings us towards the end of the season here, a kind of a nervous end to it, to be perfectly honest. We were under review from the board. Thankfully, we passed. We're given another season to show what we got. 
and as we build towards next season, if you guys want to help manage the team behind the scenes, give me input into things like the kits for next season, who we should sign, what the storyline should be. So many people have been uh, active in the Discord, helping out, giving great suggestions. Enormous shout out to all of you. I really look forward to kicking off next season. Like I've mentioned before, we have a ton of new faces for most of the team coming in, new kits, new manager head, new realism mods, things like that, as we continue to build on this storyline and everything uh, is starting to build here for season two. If you guys wanna stay up to date with this series, make sure you don't miss the launch of it. Subscribe to my channel and on we go towards season two. I'll be back soon with next episode, but until then, I'm Respected Jeff and I'll see you next time.